today, I'm going to take a look at the time setting functions on Casio watches with four buttons and models with three buttons. There's a few key differences between the two that you'll see. Four button Casio watches can vary in appearance, but most of the basic functions are the same. This World Time Casio, for instance, has labels for every button. Most models won't have the same labels, but the button will function almost the same when changing the time. Labels aside, the basic formation for four button Casios are A for the top left, B for the top right, C for the bottom left, and D for the bottom right. To enter the time changing mode, we need to hold down A for a couple seconds on the timekeeping screen. When the second digit starts flashing, you'll know you're in the time setting screen. Press C to move through each digit and adjust them using D to add and B to subtract. If you have a world time clock or an illuminator or any kind of on off setting, you can adjust them by cycling to them with C and adjusting with the D button. When you change your seconds digits, a single D press will reset the value to zero. If your value was already above 30, an extra minute will be added to the total. Press A at any time to exit the time setting, and your time will now be set. Some wristwatches in Casio's vintage collection have just three buttons to work with. The buttons are sometimes unlabeled, but they function similar to four button models as there are usually light, mode, and start stop functions to work with. For time setting, we can label these as A, B, and C. To start setting the time, you'll have to get to the time setting display by pressing the B button. From the regular timekeeping display, this should only take three presses. On this model, you can use the A button to switch between digits and C to reset or change the value. If you hold down C, you'll cycle through your values much quicker. Keep in mind that the seconds digit will reset to zero after you press the adjusting button and will add an extra minute to the clock if it's already over 30 seconds. Once everything is how you want it, you can press B again to exit the setting and lock in your new time and calendar. Hopefully this guide has helped you to get your settings just how you want them. If your Casio model was different to the ones I've mentioned, you can always check the module number on the back of the watch and find a manual online using Casio's manual archives. We'll put a link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.